Hi everyone. Today we will talk about Delta DOP one hundred HMI history buffer sampling trigger by either PLC or HMI. You can see the system architecture here. We just uh, simply use a one HMI and one PLC, and connect by Ethernet switch, and we assign the IPs uh, these two. You can find the sampling trigger by PLC. Uh, first of all, we have to assign the uh, record data, and here we use a, a special register 391. 391 uh, and 7 words, that means the real-time clock of PLC. It will include year, month, day, hour, minutes, uh, second, and week. Then you can assign how many uh, the maximum value you want to encode, uh, record, and for sure, here you can select the auto stop function once the quantity reach, and then we assign the enable active bit. So no matter you use a POC or a timer trigger, you must enable this one first. Okay. Then uh, for if you use a POC trigger, then you have to do uh, some more setting. Uh, first, we have to come to the control block and select the sampling history buffer. And this example, we will just show you uh, use the bit zero. That means we give the one to D zero. And one more thing is for the action, uh, action complete uh, clear, uh, clear flag. So every time you want to do the new tri uh, trigger, you have to, uh, I mean, the new trigger for the sampling, you have to uh, clear this one. And Basically, you can also achieve the same function uh, by select the clearing history buffer, but uh, use this one will be much more easier. Okay, another way is uh, trigger by uh, HMI timer. So again, here is the 391, seven words, uh, uh, 1000, then uh, enable by M0. And the default uh, sampling cycle is uh, 100 millisecond. Uh, this demonstration I will show you via uh, VNC and the FTP settings. So remember to uh, enable the VNC and the FTP function. And both are default passwords uh, 1 to 8. OK, so first we will create the POC then uh, select tool communication setting. After that, uh, check the connection status. Then we must uh, to create a POU. After that, here, uh, please remember to set the real time uh, clock uh, because uh, ASPOC don't provide a battery inside. So please make sure uh, to synchronize the time. Uh, after that, we create the device monitoring table, and it would be special register three ninety one or uh, seven words, and then we uh, click online. So you can see this is the real time clock of uh, POC. After that, uh, we create the HMI program. Uh, make sure you select the AS, uh, POC TCP and the IP address is 0.1.5 and then we assign the IP address of HMI. Okay, first of all, we uh, click uh, configuration. As I mentioned here, we have to add on the action complete clear flag, then our sampling history buffer. Okay. Then we have to enable VNC function and also FTP function. After that, uh, let's go to history buffer setup. Again, here we assign to spatial register 391. 
seven words and one thousand. Then the enable bit we use at M zero. First, we will show you a PLC. Okay, here we select to a USB auto stop auto export, and here remember to click again so you will show the file name. Then we can come to a screen page. So here we add on uh, one push button M0 means the enable, assembly enable. Then we can change to yellow color once we press the button. Uh, second, we will add down one uh, numeric, uh, numeric entry. This one assigned to uh, D0, uh, if you still remember. Okay, then here I will show you a function called the uh, text viewer. So we can check the status, check the value inside the CSV file. So here, make sure uh, we change the file uh, extension to CSV. Then we can download a program. Okay, then we can XXPR VNC. Okay, so here uh, we have to enable function first, then uh, give one to trigger, and you will see it automatically uh, override to zero because we have enabled the function over here. Action complete clear, uh, clear flag. So we trigger second time, third time, first time. Then we can go to the USB and find a folder. Uh, sorry, here, make sure uh, to disable this function first. Okay. And then uh, I will show you a uh, change to uh, sampling. Uh, timer sampling to uh, sorry, trigger by timer. So the constant is a 100 a millisecond. Uh, sorry, uh, before doing this, I think I will show you uh, FTP. So it's uh, based on HMI, then the password is a 128. So here you can see this be the history. Uh, remember to uh, refresh. Okay, so back to HMI program. Then we modify and download program. Okay, we access by VNC again. So this time we just uh, enable, and later we can check the uh, folder. Okay, so obviously I think some delay, uh, seems one time delay. So you can see this is the last time we trigger uh, by PLC four times. Okay, so if you encounter this situation, uh, please uh, remember to uh, power recycle the device again, so this will get a fix. So I think uh, this video, uh, this uh, just try to show you the uh, standard process how to uh, set in the tr uh, sampling trigger by either PLC or HMI. Hope this can help. Thank you.